Alright, welcome back guys. In this video we're going to uh, add custom details to our terrain. So we're going to stop using the stuff Unity gives us and we're going to add our own stuff. So this is what really makes your games unique and uh, you can add your own touch to your games and stuff. So what I've done is I've um, I firstly went out for a walk with my girlfriend so done a nice thing for her and whilst we were out I had took some pictures in the park so I've I've just took some a couple of pictures of some things I thought I could add to the game. Um, I took this picture and I saw this nice sunflower here and I cut it out so as you can see I haven't been that um, detailed in some areas but. Uh, this does take a while guys by the way it does take a few minutes to do so you need to be very patient when you're doing this um, especially with flowers and stuff they're very dynamic so you need to be really patient and um, it is worth it in the end it looks really nice in unity so if, if you've got an iPhone guys that's what I use or any smartphone or any camera for that matter or anything with a camera in it which is just about every electronical device these days take a picture wherever you are if you want to add something to your game um, these are all copyright free. You won't, you won't have any problems with copyright. You can sell your content when you make a game. So it's really worth doing this, guys. If you're outside and you see something you like, take the picture. <laughs> Alright, so we've taken our picture. We've um, edited the color a little bit. We've put it in a, um, a, a, a texture file, 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. Alright, make it square so it's easier to edit and um, import it into Unity. So here's the texture and uh, I've added it to my terrain in the details tab um, so let's hop into the details and talk about them for a sec uh, you can change the width, min and max width, uh, min and max height so and um, the healthy colour and the dry colour so it just randomises it a bit and uh, I've billboarded this so when the camera zooms right out it, the, it will be replaced with a billboard so it won't animate uh, so with that let's uh, drop these down a bit and let's drag some on. Uh, as a side note guys try to be realistic as you can see there's a bunch of sunflowers together they grow very uh, in very close proximity to one another in this case so let's try and mimic that in our scene straight away there's too many together so let's drop this right down to 0 0.001 and uh, that's actually not enough so let's go to 0 0.01 see what that does yeah that's alright I think so place a bit in our scene on the mountain top um, if you want to get rid of them hold shift bring this up a bit shift it and um, they'll delete let's bring this down a bit alright guys so simple as that let's hop into the game so straight away there we go it adds a little bit of color to the level so um, it's animating as well with wind Unity makes an attempt to uh, animate this with wind I'm just going to show you guys something if we go into our settings we can go to our wind settings change the size and the speed and stuff <laughs> alright so even grass tint so we can tint it I want to tint it a yellow actually because some flowers are nice and yellow and that's a bit too much to be honest a bit of a that do. So let's play the game so it looks like uh, looks a bit unrealistic now. Let's hop back a couple of times. Yeah that do. Let's not mess about with that. So how can we add, make this a little bit more realistic? Well where plants are growing guys trees are normally growing as well so we can get our palm tree for example. Uh, drag this down a bit. Put a couple of trees in. And another thing guys, um, just as a side note, what you can also look around your image and see what else you can do. You can cut out these leaves for example, the soil, uh, let's have a look in these, that's a really nice background, you might want to use that as a background, you know, so all these leaves you can cut out and add as a texture, you know, so um, taking your own images is very powerful stuff, that's what I'm trying to get at here, so you can do your own stuff, but what I've done is I've... Uh, I've cut out this soil, I've just cut out a bit of soil here and uh, in Unity we can go back to these and I can add a texture and I've called it mud, so that's my mud I've just cut out the image, simple as that I want it to be rather detailed and uh, I'm just going to paint mud around where these have been growing Oop, let's change the opacity a bit and um, 
Oh, we've got a grass selected. So <laughs> remember to select your mud and um, to paint it on simply like that. Uh, I don't want it to leak over the uh, sunflowers. So, all right. So um, simple as that, guys. Let's play the game again. And um, yeah, it looks alright actually. So I'm not going to keep this like this. By the way, I'm going to make this thing look quite nice and stuff. So. Uh, in the next video guys I'm going to show you the final product so um, all of the plants, all of our meshes and stuff if I quit this you can also add detail meshes uh, so detail, grass textures so this is a grass texture detail mesh we can add actual models around here so uh, now we've got the theory out of the way of how to do it in the next video I'm going to show you the final thing so thanks for watching guys I hope you learned something today I can't stress how important this is to make your own images and stuff and cut them out as you can see you don't need to do an amazing job it turned out pretty good and I seen didn't it so uh, that's it guys thanks for watching the video um, is there anything else I wanted to say uh, be careful on your angles um, do it a nice right angle for example so it's uh, facing straight towards the, the flower I'm pointing downwards a little bit here, so that's my error. But um, and take anything you can from your images, guys. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next video, guys. Thanks. For